our last equation is a little tricky here. Um, we have some distribution. It looks like we have some, uh, some B variables over here and another set of B variables here. So before we do any sort of solving steps, the first thing we need to do is we need to look to simplify this particular equation first. So to simplify this, we will first of all do our distribution. 2 times b is 2b. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Plus 3b equals negative 16. And now we will put together the 2b over here and the positive 3b over there. So we will get 5b minus 6 equals negative 16. Now we're ready to do our input-output system. So we'll start with our variable, which is b. If we look at the equation, the first thing we would do with that equation, or that expression, sorry, is we would multiply b by 5. That gives us some value. And then we would subtract 6 from that. And that gives us negative 16 as our output. But of course, we're trying to solve the equation. So we need to work backwards. So we will start by adding 6. And then we will do the inverse of multiplying by 5, which is dividing by 5. So once again, we are working backwards from order of operations, and we are using the inverse operations. So let's finish this off here. Uh, according to our work on the right, we need to add 6 on both sides. Notice that once again, our negative 6 and positive 6 are opposites. They cancel out, leaving us with 5b equals negative 10. Negative 6 plus 6 is negative 10. And then, according to the work on the right again over here, we now need to undo the multiplication by its inverse, which is division. So we divide by 5 and divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 cancels out, leaving us with a b. And negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. So we're making a claim this time that b is equal to negative 2. So let's check that. When you check a more complicated equation, it's really important that you start at the very beginning because you, don't, you might have made a mistake when you did the distribution. So I'm going to start right back at the beginning. b is negative 2 minus 3 parentheses plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 16. So I'm going to use order of operations. It says we do the work in the parentheses first. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So I have 2 times negative 5 plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 16. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Positive 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 equals negative 16. Negative 10 minus 6 or negative 10 plus negative 6 is negative 16 which equals negative 16. Hooray! Once again, our check seems to work out, so we feel pretty confident in knowing that b is in fact equal to negative 2. And that is how we use inverse operations and the property of equality to solve two-step equations.